Welcome, Safe Moon Army. Welcome back to Safe Moon Sunday. Safe Moon Sundays. Yeah, I'm John. I'm the CEO of Safe Moon. <clears throat> I'm Jack, the CEO of Safe Moon. And uh, dude, it's been a crazy week. General, I mean, yeah. it's been a fantastic week for us. But, yeah. Uh, Crypto has really been testing the holders. Yeah, yeah. This week across the board, I think. All the all the diamond hands out there, regardless of the cryptocurrency that you're in, you know, yeah. di diamond hands is always better. Um, no, it's, it's been interesting. You know, we had some, some new FUD come out crypto wide and uh, yeah. a lot of a lot of I, I tweeted about this, but a lot of uh, toxicity, yeah. you know, when when the markets go down and, uh, you know, we're we're all one community, you know, safe is a community and then we're part of a, a much wider cryptocurrency community as well. And I think when things like this, things like this happen, when there's a bit of a couple bearish days, yeah, yeah. it really makes people sit back and go. Oh, I'm going to stop tweeting angry things now. I'm going to actually realize that we're all part of a huge community, yeah. which is the, people forget that big vision yeah. that cryptocurrency is. So yeah. it's a blessing in a case, I suppose. No, I mean, and it's also been a it's been a great week for uh, for SafeMoon. Yes, it um, has. Yeah. Yeah. So we a lot of work here here at SafeMoon. Amazing work uh, this week. Two point two five million holders. Yep. So welcome, welcome to uh, to to all the new holders out there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had BitBNS Exchange. Yeah, which were amazing to work with. Yes. By the way, um, one of the the fastest exchanges we've ever worked with. Yeah, Literally they're, lightning, so incredible. they're done with uh, Phase One tokenomics integration. Yep. Yeah, done with Phase One tokenomics integration. So, uh, and that brings us to a total of. 15 exchanges. Yep, uh, 15 exchanges. Yeah. With uh, six that support tokenomics. Mm -hmm. So uh, go look at my tweet. Um, I actually listed them there. So uh, developers, we've expanded that. Yes, uh, we so have. we're at 15 developers on the wallet alone. So we are screaming through that. And then we have eight on the exchange and uh, a variety of other teams working on other projects, uh, some pertaining to Operation Phoenix yep. uh, and others to other. Uh, Products that are coming, you know, in the in the further future. Yep. We've so further team expansions. Yeah, marketing uh, and media. Marketing and media. So we've had yep. two new senior hires. One of those being uh, Dave. Dave Smith. Yep. Dave Smith, uh, and three junior hires as yes. well. And all of these people, I, I cannot state. They, they're incredible, aren't they? No, it, it took us. Uh, it took us a bit. You yep. know, we were we were interviewing them. You know, we wanted to bring quality. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, it, it takes more than than a few days to, to hire. I mean, that's just. Just from the interview processes alone, then it's all the HR work that goes into it as well. Yep. So, welcome them. They're, they've been great, uh, and they'll be producing a lot more content uh, here here in the future. So, uh, partners. Fantastic new partner. Anonymous Key Technology. They're an encryption group. They uh, they they're a lot stronger than today's standard, and they're NIST certified for. I mean, these these are. Uh, nerdy words for, <laughs> for the people in the encryption space, but yep. NIST certified, uh, you can go look them up. Um, and then uh, we've also, we're in the final negotiations with uh, that marketing firm, the larger one. Yes. Yeah, final negotiations yep. with them. So we'll, uh, we'll update you when we have more news. Mm -hmm. So Expansion has been a, a really, really big, no, I mean, big deal this week, you know, yeah, always, but. Yeah, we, we're growing rapidly and so the, well, the community's growing rapidly and so the team that supports the community also has to grow rapidly. So we've been, uh, that's been one of Jack and I's major focuses uh, here at our level. So. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, oh, Mooncraft. Uh, so that's the, the Minecraft server. Yep. It's our test bed for a lot of the new technology we're working on. We currently have 50 beta testers. Yep. 50 beta testers, uh, and we'll be rolling out more very soon. So, you know, please go to the website and sign up for the beta or DM Hank. So, <laughs> I, love <saying> that. <laughs> I love saying that. Enjoy, Hank. Um, all right, our favorite section. What the FUD? What the FUD? So, pretty, pretty big one this week. Uh, yeah. In my opinion, you know, it's something that we really want to talk about. So, I'm going to I'm gonna hand that over to yeah. you. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Ledger, hi. So, uh, we've, we saw your post, your Twitter post, your blog post, and we're now taking the appropriate actions uh, as we've been advised to do so. Um, but, uh, you know what, I'm not going to read that, hold on. So, what you did is despicable. Uh, I, we are disgusted by that article that you posted. You're perpetuating a false narrative that was put out by War on Rugs. I'm finally saying their name. They're, so, War on Rugs, they, which was a, a, a rug pull. The, what they did and what they vi did to victimize their community yep. is just utterly disgusting. The fact that they, you would use them as a reference is atrocious. You know, I was a big fan of Ledger. I was. I have one. Well, I, I had one, and I'm looking for a replacement. And speaking of a replacement, I think uh, there's no better time than to say we'll do it ourselves.
All right. No, we're really excited about that. Jack, we're looking at what? Uh, we're, uh, we're looking to release that um, end of summer. End of summer. End so of this, summer. This is a new product that we're we were actually initiating, you know, yep. because of uh, recent events. So uh, we'll update you guys along the way with all the development. But yes, there's our ledger. So. All right, next piece of FUD that I want to address specifically is... The Gambian. The, the Gambian, the yep. stuff regarding the Gambia. Um, so to those who DM'd me some of the stuff you said, it was disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourselves. Same with the people who commented those ridiculous stuff that it's just, anyway. But to, to reiterate and to, to, to kind of show a little more of what we've been doing, this has not been a, a recent endeavor in regards to the Gambia. My experience with, with the Gambia, it's been something I've been working on since 2018. Yes. Uh, in my Twitter post, uh, I showed a photo of me with Song Kung and the Honorable James Gomez uh, at a, in a meeting in DC where we discussed a lot of the technological innovations and the, the technology leadership that, or well, technology thought that the Gambia has right now regarding their national development plans and strategy. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, crypto was a point of discussion, telecommunications infrastructure was a point of discussion. So a lot of good stuff came out from that meeting, but this has been an ongoing thing since 2018, uh, you know, in regards to the other projects I've worked on in the past, but, you know, crypto is something that I've, uh, we've always, it's always been in their mind. Yep. Uh, I believe it's always been in their mind based Absolutely. on some of the stuff that's been said. For, but, for sure, yeah. the, the, the way that they, the way that they are currently work with us and, yeah. and, and the conversations that you've been having well with, with some yeah. Kujwar specifically yeah. Um, yeah, exactly uh, I think that um, it really shows that we put a lot of time yeah. into everything we yeah. do you know now these these discussions aren't finalized yet and we're as my tweet said we're sending a team there very shortly I believe here in the next week or so yes. uh, to go further uh, those discussions in regards to specifically safe moon um, so really excited to, to move that forward. Uh, but that kind of that kind of wraps up the fud yeah. for for this week. You yeah, know? that was a, they were they were two important ones. I think yeah. uh, we can move on to some community questions now. Yes, yes. All right. Um, so this is a big one. Yeah, I, I wanted to answer this for a while. I know a lot of people have been. Um, I say a while. It feels like a while. It's like a week. Yeah. Every, every time is a week. Um, but uh, to the discrepancy in exchange reflections. Now. To summarize, basically, in a, in a, in a, in a manner, um, we are breaking ground in an entirely new space. The community asked for centralized exchanges. That's absolutely something yep. we brought to the table. Central, uh, tokenomics are innovative as it stands anyway. Well, and they, haven't really, they hadn't really done tokenomics it's to not this been degree. Done, it's not been done really on centralized exchanges yeah. you know, there's different forms people can kind of hint at it, but farming and airdropping is nowhere no. near the same thing. Yeah. Um, so it's, I think, you know, people, some, some, certain people in the community might have a kind of negative opinion towards uh, the reflection basis on, on centralized exchanges, and I just kind of want to talk about that. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had many conversations about it, uh, just to state that this is actually a really, really good thing, and it's a big deal, and it's really innovative. Well, yeah, specifically in regards to the integration, you know, we were able to work with six exchanges right now, and more are on the way, to roll out a phase one uh, approach to tokenomics, and it's uh, both a semi-manual and mostly automatic thing that yep. they're working on and that they're doing. And I mean, the amount of man hours that they put in to yes. integrate tokenomics, and you know, you're, you're seeing it. You know, Bitmart just did the reflections uh, this this month, and they'll be mm -hmm. doing it here in the in the future, and it's only going to get better. So this is a phase one integration. Uh, it kind of brings up to kind of we can tie it into the next point, which Absolutely, is with regard yeah. to the burn. Um, so the burn comes from the five percent. So there's a total of a ten percent. Five percent of that reflected back to the holders. Five percent auto general liquidity pool. So the 5% that's reflected back to the holders is where the burn comes from on PancakeSwap uh, because the burn address is considered a holder. Now, yes. I'll bite that holder has either the use of the analogy of flaming hands and lights yeah. on fire every time it takes it or exactly. a black hole. So when it goes there, uh, it, it never, never, it, it's, it's not gone. accessible by anyone. No, there's no private key not you know, all, for, no. for that, that wallet. So anyway. Um, the burn address is considered a holder in that regard, and that's how we automated the, the burn process with that. So we're right now trying to work a similar system uh, that ties in a pancake swap later on, but at least in, in the beginning, you know, uh, getting a burn system set in place for the centralized exchanges, but that's more of a phase 1.5, phase 2 thing that we're working on right now. Yep. Um, but, yeah, so... I think, uh, actually, we'll tie into that as well, is the... the well... 
I think I want to talk a little bit about the the oh, burn, the burner price, the supply yeah. ratio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. so the so people so the, the main question is when are we going to stop the burn? Uh, the the short answer is we have much smarter people than Jack and I and the team working on this to work out where the math adds up best. Um, so we have quantitative engineers currently working on that. Um, and then Thomas, our CTO, is currently working on some other methods, for lack of better terms, that will uh, answer that question of when the burn will happen. But we, we're not ready to release that stuff yet because that's uh, some proprietary stuff that we're working on in-house yes. uh, to bring to you guys, to bring to the Safe Moon Army. So We've got some uh, quantitative engineers work on that who are... Um, well, that as well. They're yeah. working on that as well. But no, we have much smarter people working on this right now. And when we have a definitive answer, we'll provide it. So. Absolutely. Um, now, this is something very, very exciting that I know you guys have been waiting for. Oh, yeah. um, with regards to the Safe Moon card, the reaction to the Safe Moon card was exactly what more than we could have hoped for. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, incredible reaction from the community, and it's something that we've been working on for ages. And as we said, you know, we always release stuff when when it's at the, the credible point to do so, and we know that it's a, a solid thing. There's been a lot of questions about the um, will there be a ten percent. Uh, will the, 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 the tokenomics 10% fee be placed on the card? Well, great news. Uh, no 10% fee. We found a solution, we worked it out, and we have a way to not in institute the 10% fee. So yes, the, the answer to your question is no, there will be no 10% fee on the card transactions. So now, they, they, they may possibly be um, you know, smaller fees that are just uh, situated towards normal transactional systems that you know, we're used to in the current, yeah. current will, but 10% fee is not, non-existent on the card. Yeah, the, the next question that we, we saw a lot of and we're, we're still getting is, when wallet? Uh, you know, we, we talked, uh, yeah. yeah, we go to Thomas and like, yo, when wallet? Yeah, and, uh, I'll let you do this. Yeah. One. So June 15th, we are opening up a beta test sign-up page for everyone, uh, and that'll go live on the website. So I yeah. think that's going to get a couple of people excited. Yeah, we you know we know we know everyone's been waiting for a date on yeah. that. So yeah, June the 15th, beta sign-ups are going to be open, and I yes, please try not to crash it. I think uh, <laughs> it's yeah. going to well, be a I mean, bit wild. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hank, yeah. make sure it's done. Yeah, yeah. All right, special announcements for this week. Uh, yep. Well, technically for next week. Yep. So we are postponing next week's Safe Moon Sunday. We will be traveling to meet with some... Some incredible individuals. Some new partnerships. Some really yeah, exciting some, partnerships. Yeah. And we have to meet them face to face uh, to discuss some of the stuff we want to discuss because, you know, well, they, they want to meet face to face and so we're going to travel, we're going to see them and see if the partnership uh, works out. So, yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah. I think uh, I think we covered a lot of it. Yeah, stuff yeah, there, really. a lot of stuff this week. Um, Absolutely. No, we're 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 really excited for a lot of the a lot of the developments in the pipeline. We're we're hoping uh, I'm really mushing the developers along uh, <laughs> to make sure we can get some more definitive dates out here yeah. in the in the coming weeks. I think with the team growth as well, yeah. there, there is some there is an exponential uh, speed growth at the moment, yeah. isn't there? Which is really interesting to see, and, and that's actually why you know we we talk a lot about timelines, and yeah. we're only going to say them when we're certain because. In actual fact, you know, it's, it's, it's more possible that they could speed up, instead, yeah. you know, so yeah. uh, things are moving fantastic, I have to say. No, we're, we're really excited for, uh, for these next few weeks and uh, our, our upcoming trip, so anyway. Absolutely. I'm John. I am the CEO of SafeMoon. I'm Jack Haynes, the CEO of SafeMoon. We are family. We are SafeMoon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>